When it comes to life, the critical thing is whether you take things for granted or you take them for gratitude. I pray that in everything, you take everything that you receive in gratitude, in thanksgiving. In Colossians 3, verse 17, it says, Whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. We know that we should be thankful. But so often, we're not. Maybe we're asleep. We go through our days in a sleepy attitude, taking everything for granted. And sometimes, when our hearts are troubled, our spirits are are crushed, and, and we don't feel, in that moment, very thankful. Yet, even when the clouds of despair darken our lives, God promises us a new tomorrow. God promises us... God's love, God's strength, and God's grace. And that's certainly an overwhelming cause to thank God during good times and trying times. One of the things that Jesus taught by example is giving thanks even before the manifestation came. The answered prayer came. Now that's the kind of faith you're to have. And to give thanks ahead of of a good day is also tremendous faith. But it's more than that. It magnetizes you. Gratitude magnetizes you to draw good into your life. It's an attitude that is magnetic, and it draws the very best. Have you thanked God today for God's many, many blessings? I try to go throughout my day. I practice the gratitude system that we offer here every fall, and we will be again soon. It's available for pre-order now. It is a wonderful way to live life. It is a trained response to the way that you view every day. If you're honest, you'll be able to admit that God has given you more things on a daily basis than you can even count. Even looking back in my life on some of those, quote, bad days, I look back on some of the blessings that I couldn't see at the moment. And sometimes my best days were what I thought were the worst days in the beginning. I pray today that you will offer heartfelt thanks for God's wonderful, constant presence in your life. If you haven't already, take time to slow down. Just enough to offer a prayer of thanksgiving to the one that has given you life on earth and life eternal and blessings beyond that that you can even see.